putting in so much effort into people who can go days without texting you or calling you back, days without missing you, right? Stop putting so much effort into people, right, who is leaving you on red for weeks and days, right? Stop forcing people, stop forcing relationships, stop chasing people, all right? That's the message for today. Stop chasing people and stop putting so much effort into people who are okay with not texting you back. We live in a world where technology is everything. People are on their phones 24 seven. They wake up, the first thing they do is grab their phone, right? They go to sleep, they check their phone. They always scrolling, right? So, so my thing is, is stop putting in so much effort, so much time into people who will not text you back, who will not call you back. Well, you know what? They text you two days after you text them and they say, oh, I'm fine, how you doing? when you text them on Monday, but they respond on Thursday. Make it make sense. Make it make sense, right? When people don't respond to you in a, in a long period of time, it just shows you where you stand. It shows you where you stand. Stop putting in so much effort into the wrong people, into people who aren't ready for relationships. They're not ready for commitment. They're not ready to pop the question. They're not ready, right? Stop wasting your time chasing people and putting so much of your valuable time and effort into the wrong people, into the wrong relationships, that's not going anywhere, right? And the thing about it, it says more about you than it does about them when you keep chasing them and not getting a response, right? You sending question marks after question marks. you like, hey, are you there? Where you at? Haven't heard from you in a long time. Listen, if someone is not responding to your text message and two to three days go by, they're not interested. They're not interested in the conversation. Maybe they're not interested in the, in the relationship. Now, don't get me wrong. Something might have happened, but I'm talking about if something didn't happen and you still seeing them posting on social media, they still updating their status, they still liking posts, they still posting in their stories, but they're not responding to you. Stop putting so much effort and so much time into a non-relationship, right? Whatever you might you want to call it, right? That's not pouring into you. You are losing so much of yourself chasing people who are not even worthy or even valuable enough to be with you. I, I value communication. I value communication. If you're not interested in me, let me know. I'm a big boy. I can take it. I'm sure you a big boy. You a big girl. You can take it, right? Imagine how many hearts will be saved if people just come out and say, you know what? I'm not really interested in you. This ain't going to work. Thank you so much. Instead of you ghosting someone, right? And you leaving someone on red or you not responding and you going back and forth. We don't got time for that. We are adults. We got to start adulting better. If you don't want me that I'm gonna stop putting my time and effort into you, into the relationship. You see, the problem is people don't know how to communicate. People don't know how to communicate. They don't know how to talk. They don't know how to express themselves. They don't know how to have a conversation. They don't know how to tell people, I'm sorry, I was wrong. They don't even know how to communicate what they don't like or what they do like. We live in a world where people can't even communicate that well, but guess what? They can communicate really well on social media, right? They can communicate non-verbally on social media when they keep pressing like on certain people things. They pressing hard, they showing emojis, right? But when it comes to really expressing who you are and where you where you want to be or you know your likes, your dislikes and where you don't want to be, it's hard. Right? Stop putting so much listen. If you get anything from this message today, right? Stop putting so much effort into people who can go days without talking to you. They can go weeks without talking to you. Stop investing in these people. It's okay to let them go. It's okay to choose you. And the thing about it is that when you let people go, you choose you. It's so important choosing you. It says so much about you when you choose you, right? Over inconsistent people. They're inconsistent. We don't want to deal with inconsistent people. Now imagine this, right? Imagine marrying someone who's inconsistent, someone who doesn't communicate, someone who leaves you days and they don't text you. They don't text back. Imagine having children with someone who doesn't come home every day, right? You see, a lot of these patterns, these, these patterns that you see with these men or these women who's texting you and who's, who, who waits days to respond, these are habits. These are habitual things, right? And if you, you, you start a serious relationship with these people, they're going to bring that same habit into the relationship. 
And then you're going to say, well, I didn't see it. I, yes, you did see it. You choose not to see it, not to look. You chose to turn the other cheek. You, you saw it. You know they were inconsistent. You know you text them at 8 a.m. and they responded at 8 p.m. and say, oh, hey, I had a long day. But you were posted on social media. We saw you in your story. You grabbed lunch. You had time to record your food, but you had no time to respond to me. Make it make sense. Make, make it make sense. Listen, if you get anything from this, this, this video, if you get anything from this content, this little piece of content, this little piece of advice, if there's anything you get from this, is stop putting so much effort in chasing people, right, who could go days and weeks without responding to you and people who are inconsistent and people who aren't showing you the same mutual effort. All right. I love you guys. Peace.